Hey guys, good morning. Today we are gonna be getting it all done. We are gonna do a super quick grocery haul, grocery prep. We're gonna declutter a little bit, do a ton of laundry, clean up the house. If you have something that you need to do, get it done with me. My name is Becca, I'm a full-time stay-at-home mom, and I upload a ton of just regular mom homemaking content. Absolutely adore coffee, so let's grab some coffee, turn on some really great music. This is a cold cup of coffee um, that I actually needed to dump out. Sometimes I let it sit and it's been on the hour on the counter for like an hour, you know, it just doesn't taste the same. So we're gonna grab a fresh cup. I had a ton of celery and carrots that needed to be juiced. I just got my braces and I was like, this is a perfect excuse for me to juice these. So I have them later as a super simple grab and go. I love to recycle jars, any kind of jar, pasta jar. Um, we get a lot of grapefruit in jars. You can recycle like old drink jars, whatever. Whatever I have on hand is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna get that started first and then we'll just kind of make our way around the house. Still 
here's the juice. I did actually juice um, the leftover oranges that we did have. They were kind of ripe, but like not super ripe. I don't mind that, so I left it, and then I juiced the orange skins as well. It's a little bitter, but I do actually enjoy that. I washed all of the fruit off camera just because sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to get that into the sink. Let it all dry, so now I'm just gonna put it all away. We had a ton of grapes from the week prior that somehow got left in the fridge, and we're just trying to make our way through those, so I know that I will use those first before we get into any of the new fruit. And the always, you can always like wash out your Ziploc bags. You don't have to throw them away after one use. They're super easy. You guys will see my uh, camera bouncing up and down my tripod. I do have a three and five year old. We do homeschool full time. So if any of that interests you, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you're doing this weekend or going into next week. We have hit that hot point in summer and I feel like I'm crossing my fingers <laughs> that my garden is going to make it. Hoping that my carrots survive. We planted a ton of pumpkins. I'm hoping that this later in this fall that we're going to have a ton of pumpkins and maybe like a little mini pumpkin patch. It would be so much fun for my kids to walk out the door and pull pumpkins. I love to garden. Sometimes you'll find uh, gardening videos. It just depends on if I can throw them together. This year our garden's doing pretty well. So if any of that interests you, again, don't forget to say hello down below. So I just took a super quick inventory after I put all the groceries away. Typically every week I will wipe down the fridge. I try to do this weekly before groceries come in. The fridge is basically empty already. It's super easy to wipe it down and kind of take inventory of what you have and then I go through and put everything away, wash all the produce. If it's not washed, we're not going to eat it. So I try to get all this done on Sundays. Sometimes we do it on Saturdays. It just depends. And then I'll throw um, five to six different meals up on the fridge. We've had this forever. It's like the cheapest little whiteboard thing from Target, I think. And it saves me every time, <laughs> at least. I know exactly what we have as far as meals are concerned. We don't always eat these in order, super flexible, but if it's like 3 45 4 o'clock and i'm like oh my gosh what am i gonna make for dinner i know what i have in the pantry and i don't have to like rummage through the fridge or rummage through the freezer to try to put something together kind of simple kind of wishful 
about things And you're kind of simple But like a pistol you fire Sometimes you get under my skin like a lover And sometimes you don't wanna come back Cause you'd rather stay out with another Talking to strangers and make out spontaneously Now I'm so tired of hearing stories about the drunk guides bragging and the glory you're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell i get it oh i'm so tired of hearing all your stories about your rich friends traveling in mercedes you're such a nice guy when you're not just talking about yourself and the way of how you dwell Get into the mountains of laundry that I have to do. I thought it would be fun to make another coffee. I love to have coffee in the morning and I also love to have coffee in the afternoon. So I want to say thank you to Javi for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Javi coffee is super fast, it's super convenient. You can make a cup of coffee in like three seconds. They came out with a new flavor, the mocha flavor. So this is their coffee concentrate. You get 35 servings per bottle and it's literally just one teaspoon. Make it measure with your heart. That's the recommended serving. You fill your cup up with ice. You can make it hot. You can make it cold with water, milk, milk of your choice. They came out with a mocha flavored syrup, which I've never tried. So I'm super excited to try this. There's 80 milligrams of caffeine per serving. Like this, I know when I have a million things to do and you know what I'm talking about when you're running around from like one side of the house to the other because you're kind of just getting everything done. Coffee like this is super simple and it's really convenient and I honestly just enjoy being able to put it together. The mocha syrup I highly recommend. It is low calorie and they do advertise it. There's way less sugar than other syrups out there on the market. Javi coffee is all natural. There's no artificial flavors and it's gluten free if that's something that you have to watch out for. So definitely recommend. I will leave a coupon code in the description down below for 20% off. So thank you again Javi for sponsoring that portion of the video. Let's get back into the laundry. I have so much laundry you guys. I was doing laundry all day. I will not promise that I'm folding all of it and putting it away in the same day. I did get quite a bit of it folded. 
but sometimes you just got to do it in different steps and different stages and that's where we are <laughs> so if you have laundry sitting in your dryer take this as a sign to either switch that load over or fold it or fold and put away the load that's been sitting on top of your dryer for the last two days This is one of those days I promise I was like drowning in laundry and I had bedding going, I had our regular laundry, it just was like never ending. And then I decided that I needed to throw our um, chair cushions in the washer. I try to do this at least once every two weeks if I remember. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw those a really quick load. I needed something else otherwise like the washer just seems off balance so I threw the blanket that lives on our sofa and just threw that in there to make sure that the washer doesn't go off balance otherwise they're pretty light and then the washer will say rebalance rebalance and it drives me nuts it'll say that forever <laughs> now we're going outside to check on the garden and just see that everything is surviving this heat I try to early water as early as I can sometimes I forget but as long as it's before like 11 I feel like I'm not scorching my plants
back door if you missed a mobile home makeover it's the front door video i'll link it down below we just painted these blue they were white our front door was red it's still red inside i can't decide on a color comment down below if i should paint the inside of the door white or if i should i think there's a kit where you can paint the door to make it look like wood i'm so leaning towards that i think it'd be a really fun project i just don't want to screw it up um when i peeled the tape back there's quite a bit of um paint on the glass i got this razor blade with a ton of extra razor refills amazing quality for a dollar 25 from dollar tree so if you're looking for one of those definitely go find one i'm gonna clean up the tape and the paint out here on the door kind of just wash the windows also this windex is a new product from a dollar tree it's the windex like off brand but it works honestly it works really well i didn't have high hopes and it comes with a little refill tablet totally worth the investment and the bottle is huge <laughs> so i'm gonna do that clean off the window and then i'm just gonna spray off the deck and clean off the deck box so we use the back door all the time coming in and out of the house with the kids and it gets so muddy so i'm gonna just kind of rub that down with my hand we're not doing anything super crazy outside but just trying to tidy up as we go
let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Now that the top is rinsed off and the inside of the deck box looks a little bit better, it had all of our like rain boots and snowshoes and outside shoes, any of that. I just straightened up. I did actually have to throw away the rain boots. They weren't worth donating. They were completely torn up inside. We go through rain boots like water out here. So anytime my kids outgrow them, I end up having to chuck them because if I donate them, they're honestly not in donation quality. So we planted some pumpkins. I'll insert, I'll try to do um, a half screen grab. They are thriving in these buckets. We had, I think three packets of um, pumpkin seeds and then a ton of flowers. And I'm trying to just grow as much as I can this season and testing different soils and different things that we're putting in the soil. This one has a ton of lawn clippings. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're just gonna kind of moisten up the soil. It was really dry <laughs> and honestly nothing wrong with it. It was old potting soil and I think old fertilizer and a ton of like new fresh yard clippings. So gonna mix that all together the boys had fun with like a mud soup <laughs> and then we're gonna place the seeds and honestly i've never had seeds sprout faster so if you have any fresh lawn clippings and don't forget to throw those in your potting mix
try to be patient Cause nothing's written on the wall Yeah, it's too soon to mention How I've begun to feel That I want your attention This time it is for real Oh baby, love me like you did last night I wanna hold you too So we headed into Costco. We didn't pick up anything super, like not anything bulk wise. We picked up just a few things that we actually needed like Clorox wipes, dish soap. You know, you go in for one thing and come out with 20. So we grabbed eggs, this orange chicken I'm actually making for dinner tonight. We've seen this a million times and it honestly gets amazing reviews on the Costco website. So if you've had it, let me know. And I feel like it doubles as chicken nuggets. Like if my kids don't like the sauce, it's kind of like a one and done. Cheese is the best deal. We'll never buy cheese anywhere but Costco. Go through that like water. Popcorn, I bought this because I wanted to eat it before I got my braces and I totally forgot about it. Um, some Lysol wipes, bananas, and then a box of pizza and a huge bag of lemon. Also picked up the three pack of lunch meat. We like to get the variety. This will last us, I think about a month. Typically in the summer and even in the fall, we'll do sandwiches for lunch at least three days a week. You can't pass up this set. I think it was like $8 and it honestly lasts us for like the whole year. So anytime it comes out during summer, we'll buy the ketchup, mustard and relish and then a jar of pickles. And then we're gonna head back into my bedroom and just straighten up the bed. Oh, and I bought the Unstoppables. Not sure if I love these. They smell amazing, but I've done a few Teslas. I've never used these before. I think I used a different um, scent, but they smell really good in the bottle. So we'll see how that goes. What did you expect now? Daddy feel better? I download simple lies. What did him cut you down? What do you regret now? Thinking you were clever. Singing 
So super quick hack, if you have a really um, like a standard size pillow and you have a king uh, pillowcase or sham, you can just throw the pillow inside it kind of tuck your hands. It's really hard to explain, but just kind of tuck your hands in and then fold the other side of the sham or pillowcase around. And if it's any size pillow, my husband and I go back and forth with different pillows and they always come in a set of two. I think these are so firm. <laughs> my husband loves them. So I need to find um, pillowcases for them and we only have the king size. So this works just fine. And honestly, they stay pretty well. You have to adjust them every now and then, but I'm gonna finish with the bed and then I'm gonna move these chairs out, vacuum the chairs and just kind of straighten up the bed linen. deep dive in here but when i remember to do something i love these chairs they're really comfortable i think we got them off wayfair pretty reasonably priced they recline in multiple different positions and i love the little ottoman we can drive over around the house if we want to but i just wanted to vacuum under here vacuum out the chairs and then i'm actually going to declutter a lot of my drawers my drawers were a hot mess <laughs> i say a hot mess they are I kind of just throw laundry in there and sometimes I don't fold it or it's folded and I'll throw it in the wrong drawer. So I'm going to take it as a moment. I'm putting the laundry away, take everything out, just kind of sort through it. Um, summer is coming and I wanted to make sure I knew which swimsuits I had out, which ones I had stored. So we're going to go ahead and do that after I'm done vacuuming. get into decluttering i'm gonna just dust off my dresser i don't do this as often as i should you guys are gonna see in our um laundry room makeover oh my gosh behind my appliances is just so bad so bad this is a really cute mother's day gift it's all of our handprints and it really is such a sweet 
um, way to remember how tiny your kids are. I couldn't believe how big they are now, but it's a really sweet way to kind of encapsulate how little your littles were. And I know from years from now, we'll look back at it and smile. I have all of my socks and all of that in here. It's just kind of like a lounging drawer. I have like my actual pajamas and everything in the closet, but this is stuff that I'll wear if we're kind of just staying home or pajamas when it gets cold. I do need to switch all that out for summer. And then this is a majority of my shorts and I don't even know. I think it's just a bunch of my shorts and then I put a few pairs of jeans and then the bottom I'll put active wear and then the swimsuits that I plan on wearing this summer. I hope this gave you guys some motivation to get something done today and or get it all done. This is a little bit of a mix for a Sunday reset but sometimes it is just like that. You kind of just have to go with the flow and go around the house and get what you need to get done. I've been meaning to clean out these drawers I want to say for like two months and it's took me maybe like seven minutes obviously it's sped up but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to say hello down below i hope you guys have an amazing start to your week thank you for spending any of your day with me your time is precious and it really means the world to me that you support my channel 